Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back at one of my original undisclosed locations for a very good reason. We have the updated, upgraded, refreshed 2021 BMW M550i. But before we get into this four-door, all-wheel drive, turbocharged V8 of a German performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. The 5 Series. It's been in the lineup of BMWs for so many years and really has been that go-to for people who need a little bit more when it comes to interior space, but they don't want to cut on that sport and performance side of things. Now, the M550i really falls in the sweet spot of bringing you performance, but also keeping it on the luxury side of things. One thing is for certain, if you're looking for that four-door Autobahn cruising sedan, there's some competition from Mercedes, from Audi, but BMW might have, just might have upped the game for 2021 with the new 5 Series. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this M550i and see it. Is it that luxury four-door sport sedan that you should be buying over the competition? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, let's tear the Band-Aid off. New style of a front fascia. Of course, you're gonna have your headlight housing looking good. I love the overall design. You have the LED daytime running lamps, not so much halo anymore, but still kind of tying it back to the past with that overall design. We're going to have the laser technology for the headlights. And then as we work our way down, look at this massive wide functioning opening. So you're going to have a little bit of gloss black, a little bit of flat black, but the name of the game is functionality. Flow tons of air into those corner vents and you have functional side air curtains. I love the way BMW does their style. They don't stick a bunch of extra stuff on the vehicle. They actually make and carve all the elements to give us downforce to help get the air into the uh, proper places without using extra pieces of bodywork. Now, as we come across the new front fascia with that grill design, still looking basically kidney shape. It's almost like a little bit of a butterfly kidney shape, but I do like this metallic silver. You have your vertical slots, and if you notice behind there, those are actually shutter doors to open and close to allow air in or close them up for better airflow. Now, as you work your way down, you have that massive opening down below functionality with that splitter that extends off. I love the way BMW does their design work. Even, like I said, the functionality of all the openings helps just show the sport performance side of this sedan. Now, when we get up onto the hood, on the 5 Series, you still have that separation of grill and hood. The way it curves in and connects with the grill looks clean, forward-facing camera, BMW. Bavarian Motor Works started with planes, then it went to motorcycles, and now we have the cars. Nice, clean rise all the way to the A-pillar. Everything else is super smooth. Let's find out what kind of wheel and tires we have on this M550i. So you're going to get these optional 20-inch wheels love the spoke design machine aluminum around the whole perimeter m branding in the center and then of course to kind of set off this 20 inch wheel massive bright metallic blue m badging on the calipers if you ever wonder what does m stand for it stands for motorsports and even though this is not an m5 an m550 i is still going to bring plenty of performance all wheel drive massive rotors that are fully ventilated and if you're wondering well joe what's the size of this tire 245 on the width, 35 series sidewall. We got adaptive dampers all four corners. And I think this color combo is looking pretty sick in the Florida sun. Going down the side, we're gonna have this side fender vent looking clean, that same color as the front grill. Also, that metallic silver finish on the tops of the mirrors. You're gonna have 360 cameras, turn singles nice and slim and trim, gloss black, top and bottom. We got a standard size sunroof. Color match, of course, on the door handles. I love the way they work this lower body line into the doors, the way that side sill kind of extends down. We work towards the rear. I want to kind of talk about the rear because guess what? The rear is actually a little bit wider. 275 on the width, 30 series sidewall, still a 20 inch wheel, all wheel drive, but you're going to have that rear wheel drive bias. So more power goes to the rear than towards the front, which is great, especially for handling. Now, as we wrap around back, I love that nice flared fender look. The rear pillar going into the fender, into the trunk. We have our X-Drive badge. They do a great job on the taillights. Full LED, almost has like a nice smoke finish to it. 
little bit of a kick up spoiler on the trunk. The BMW badge, there's your M550 with that nice metallic silver, just like on the grills, the Motorsports logo. And then we drop on down, you're gonna get a beautiful rear diffuser area. Look at the exhaust, functional with the gloss black on both sides. Gonna let that V8 kind of sing for us, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our M550i. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts underneath that hood, just like that tasteful engine cover says, there is some M performance. What are we looking at underneath that engine cover? You're looking at that 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque, it's all made it to a ZF eight speed automatic transmission. It's got X drive, all wheel drive, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Top speed is governed to 155 miles an hour. Quarter mile is gonna zoom by 13.1 seconds at 109.4 miles per hour. The vehicle weighs 4,275 pounds. MPGs, 17 in the city, 25 on the highway. The crazy thing is, you could actually go more, more power, more performance. But like I said, in that range, this really is a sweet spot over 500 horsepower. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 M550i. I know you're at that point where you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been waiting for this particular vehicle. I've been looking at the other German Euro sedans. How much is this one? The way that it's optioned, you're looking at an MSRP of $93,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Absolutely love, love all the tasteful materials. So you're gonna have the leather up top with the stitching. I'm digging that material that's right by the door handle. Gives it a nice finish, no gloss black. The tan really kind of breaks up the sea of just dark material. Two memory seat settings. We got the optional sound system with the aluminum speaker grill covers. Door pocket's a little tight. One Bavarian pretzel and a bottle of Dr. Pepper to wash it down. Now, when you get to the dash, that same leather material looking great. I love this finish. Really nicely done with the silver. This is all new for 2021. That's a 12.3 inch infotainment system screen. Absolutely massive, nice vertical setup, Apple CarPlay, the navigation. I don't know if you could pick up the um, ambient lighting that's underneath. They do a great, great job with that. And another great job that uh, BMW does, you get to have it your way. Touch screen, it's just like Burger King. Touch screen, you could use a direct drive control knob, many different ways to go through the infotainment system. You could go into your car settings. Very easy to do. There's our actual car. So it's kind of nice that they give you the image of your actual car just to make it a little extra special. Throw it in the reverse, clear as day camera work, 360. You could change the different angles. We could bring up everything that we need very, very easily. And then look, we're right back to where we started. Work our way down. There is some gloss black. You do have a start stop button. You can shut off that pesky auto start stop feature. BMW always does a great job with their slim and trim radio controls. Dual climate, vent uh, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a major zonk on a $93,000 car. There's more of that wonderful finish. We slide door number one open, wireless charging, two cup holders, and a 12 volt and a USB. So they got you covered connectivity. That slides back. That's gonna control the ZF eight speed automatic. There's our updated BMW iDrive controller. Real simple to use. We have our different modes, Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro. E-brake, this is the only area really where there's a ton of gloss black. I wish they would have used more of this material. Bomb bay doors, bombs away. You could easily put six Twinkies in there and a USB-C and there's some felt lining so you're not scratching your Twinkie. Leather is great, the seats are great. Love the nice tan material, all the piping. It's just the big zonk is they're not ventilated, which that blows my mind, but they are 20 way adjustable seats. So you can literally move them 20 different ways. I tested it out. We have our standard size sunroof, which I'll go ahead and slide that back. Wish it was panoramic. It's 
especially $93,000. So we'll give that half a zonk. Since it's half the glass, we'll give it half a zonk, but we'll close it up. Coming over the business end though, I wanna show you behind this beautiful steering wheel in this M550i. All right guys, business time. Behind the wheel, you got the beautiful aluminum silver plate with the M550i badge that lights up. LED lighting looking great. I love the foot box on these BMWs. You got a nice large dead pedal, brake and throttle with the aluminum finish and the M logo down below. Like I told you on the passenger side, 20 weight positionable. Same story on the driver's side. You could adjust the bolstering, the whole nine yards. Feels absolutely phenomenal. Another thing that's great are the steering wheels. Perfect thickness, love the leather, electric tilting and telescoping, heated steering wheel, great horn button, great buttons on the steering wheel. The only thing I don't love are the paddles. First of all, they're plastic, and I just wish they were a little bit larger, closer to the edge of the steering wheel. But definitely, guess what? You thought 12.3 inches was big for the infotainment. You got another 12.3 inches for the beautiful digital display with the M550 logo there. Navigation in the center. We got our different modes from comfort to sport and Eco Pro, which is nice. Real easy to use, real easy to get through, and a head-up display as the cherry on top of this Bavarian Sunday. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this new 5 Series. All right, guys, back seat of the M550i. These 5 Series have a ton of room back here. Headroom and also legroom. The backs of the seats, all that wonderful material. Large pockets, so easily you could put an abacus in there maybe a Texas instrument calculator, a speak and say, and then you're gonna have your rear AC vents, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. So the bad news is nobody gets ventilated seats. The good news is nobody gets ventilated seats because it's all the same. You do have a nice little Jolly Rancher tray, cherry, watermelon, sour apple, grape, atomic fireball tray, 12 volt, two USBs. Here's what it looks like to be six foot tall and sit in the 550i, the M550i, so I feel really good. You do have the manual shades on the side to keep the peepers and creepers out. A power shade for the back. Armrest feels good. Two cup holders, decent size. Close it on up. Let's go ahead though, let's get to the trunk and see what kind of stuff you could put in there as you're hauling it down the road. All right guys, time to get into the trunk real simple. Hit the button. Electric assist, super smooth, super clean. You got about 14.1 cubic feet of space. And oh, lo and behold, we got some zingers. These were left by Jeff and Nathan, two of our Radies Rides Patreon members. Thank you guys for leaving the zingers in here because look, perfect zinger holder in the trunk. And you also have on the other side, a nice cargo net. Maybe put some lays in there, maybe some ruffles. Lift this guy up. Look at that, we have a spare and some more storage space. So really you could load this up with the snacks and really make it that ultimate family trip hauler for sure. But you know what? Let's go ahead. We're not gonna take a family trip. We're gonna go haul the mail. Let's go on throttle in this M550i. All right guys, we're in the BMW M550i. I don't know about you, but I want some on throttle action. I want it like right now. So here we go, on throttle, here we go, yeah! Look at this thing. You know, for a non-true M car, you're getting a lot of performance out of this M550i. It is ridiculous. The torque from that twin turbo V8 is absolutely mind blowing. And this isn't an M5. There's even more. You go M5 competition. But what I love about this vehicle is the balance between the luxury side of things but yet also gives you that performance side as well. All the finishes in here are top, top notch. And our particular color has been such a standout that every time I've stopped for fuel or, or parked it somewhere, even my neighbors are like, wow, that's a cool color on that BMW. Because BMWs, they always seem to be black or white or silver or blue. This one really, really stands out. I do have it in Sport Plus mode and I am using the paddles on the back of the steering wheel. For me, it just makes it a little bit extra fun uh, when it comes to the on throttle action when using the paddles. But let me slow down a little bit here. We're in second gear. On throttle, here we go. Yeah, oh my God. You got great braking capability. Of course, you have 
um, those wonderful wheels and everything else that just allows this to be a unique vehicle. It really, really does. Wow. The digital display with the navigation and everything. I don't know about you. You ready for some more on throttle? Of course you are. On throttle, here we go. Fast ships, look at this thing. We got the all wheel drive. This thing really is a sleeper because most people, they'd see it, they'd be like, oh, it's a four door sedan. Oh, watch out. Watch out for this one. Unbelievable what, what BMW is doing with the five series. And then you got all the great room, the finishes. I, I really like the way that this particular one is optioned. Of course, the one thing I that blows my mind is there's no ventilated seats. But here we go, on throw. Nice. Head up display looking good on the brakes. Turning feels crisp. That's the thing, it doesn't feel floaty. I love the feedback I'm getting to the wheel. That's something that BMW has been working very hard to try to bring back to the equation is that feel, that feedback of the of the ultimate driving machine, right? That used to be their advertisement slogan. I feel that they're bringing it back. They really are. Nice balance front to rear with the car, which is uh, great when you're going through the twisty bits. But here we go, on throttle. Look at this. And you know, it's obviously rear wheel drive bias, so you're getting a little bit more power to the rear, which allows you to kind of, you know, steer a little bit with the rear of the car as you're going through the twisty bits, even though it is all wheel drive, which is wonderful. I'll put it into automatic mode with that eight speed automatic. Nice shifts. Now in Sport Plus mode, it is, you know, the, the, the shifts are a little bit more, um, on the harder side but that's because of that particular mode on how the engine and the transmission behaves but really really nice sound coming you'll get a couple pops every now and then out the back when you let out of the uh off throttle when you get off throttle and let off it it'll give you some pops out back which is nice but let's see how the eight speed shifts all by itself brakes are freaking phenomenal and we're not even talking about like the, the largest brakes that they have on a BMW by any means, but still very consistent, good pedal feel, fully ventilated rotors, the adaptive suspension keeps everything planted. And then of course you got that massive infotainment system screen and your passenger is gonna have plenty of room in the back, which is great as well. All right guys, we're going to do this from a slow roll. Oh, here we go. Yeah. gets the power down it's just it's a beast it really really is <laughs> look at this thing man i'm telling you it's unbelievable what technology has done for us when it comes to cars like these because who would have ever thought a four-door sedan this size would have all of this i mean they're really doing a heck of a job over at BMW, that's for sure. All right, guys, one more time. Here we go. On throttle. Love the feel. Brakes are great. Here we go. Watch this. closing rate as you can see to other vehicles that are off in the distance is just so just mind-blowing extreme and then guess what you hit that comfort mode nobody's the wiser now you have great environment quiet no wind noise the steering wheel is great controls easy to get to everything feels phenomenal in here uh, just 
where's my ventilated seats at ninety thousand dollars? That's that to me is the biggest mind blowing zonk of them all. But uh, we're gonna get back to our location and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day with this BMW M550i. I gotta thank everybody over at BMW USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this amazing German sedan. Like I was telling you, having the twin turbo power, having the all wheel drive, the ultimate driving machine dynamics, plus all that great usability really makes this a standout when it comes to that four door German luxury sports sedan. You wanna add this to your list of test drives because it might just blow your mind. But if you wanna keep seeing these types of vehicles, on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Ready's Rise merch, click the second link, become a Ready's Rise Patreon member. I gotta give it to the best member of the Ready's Rise team, Lori, my videographer working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. She's out here busting her butt. This is the 10th car that we filmed today. So thank you, Lori, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.